Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, uh, I, I got an interesting email from uh, one of my viewers, and they were asking a question. They actually found um, a, a very good video. I did a search uh, after the, from the information they gave me, <clears throat> and it was actually put out by Roxy Music, and they actually uh, came up with some user sets uh, for you to use and they're giving them out free of charge uh, I, you know uh, I don't have permission to you know like reproduce any of their items as far as the the PDF that they have but I will have a link down to their video down down in the description and you can go there, you can go to the site, and you can download actually all of the information. And that's actually where I'm going to pick this video up, is once you've downloaded the zip file. And we'll go through, we'll put them in, and we'll see how they sound. So anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to switch cameras. Okay, I'm back now. And what I've done is I've gone out, and I'm going to show you the, the download also. I simply went out and I searched for this Roxy's FR1X free orchestration. Um, and this is a video that I came up with. And down here in their description, they have a link. That's where you're going to go to download the files. I would strongly suggest watching the video also. It's very good. You are going to go to this page. Here is a 001. Um, here's a user set. Here's another orchestration. This one's um, actually Alp. Sorry, this one's Alpine. This one is the... Um, orchestral, and they actually have four different user sets that they've created. So one for each of this, each of your, your buttons. Um, I, I can only imagine how much time it took to put all this together. Anyway, to download them all together into a zip file, you simply click this button. When you click this button, it's going to begin the download. Now that we have the download, if you click on the zip file and then click extract all, it's going to come up and it's going to say, where do you want to put these? Okay. You could put them anywhere. Um, I'm just going to extract them into my download folder and then copy them onto a flash drive, it's faster than my flash drive. All right, so we're going to extract it. Boom, 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 it's all done. These have now been extracted and here they are. So what we're actually going to do then is you're going to copy the orchestral sounds, the Alpine sound set and the user sets over to your flash drive. So I'm going to take these, copy them, go to my flash drive, and I have formatted a, a new drive just for this demonstration, and paste the information in there. Now the, the PDF file, I didn't take the PDF file, but that file has all of the information in it as to how to do this also. So you could follow along with that. All right, so I have this. I'm going to eject my flash drive. And now I can take that out. And I'm going to switch over to the camera for uh, the accordion and show you how to load the sound sets and then load the user programs. At this point, I have the flash drive with the um, sound sets, with, sorry, with the expansion kit and with 
the user sets there. So I'm going to turn on the accordion and it's going to come up and it's going to tell you to load um, the Alpine in red registry location three and orchestral in registry location one. So we're going to do that. So you're going to go into set, into the parameters, go to your sound set, which is 40 clicks in. Okay, there is the sounds. We're going to look, we have sounds on the flash drive one and three, okay? And it doesn't matter what order you're going to do this in. So if I wanna put sound set, one so i take sound set one so that's the alpine and the instructions tell you to put that into memory location two so i'm going to do that now it's yelling at me because i actually have the alpine already loaded and we went over that in the last video. Okay, so I'm going to cut away, take care of this, and then I'll be back. Now that I have the expansion kits loaded, I'm now ready to load the user sets. So we go into the parameter list, and again, this one is, I think it's 37 down, so it's pretty far down. There is user set. They're telling you to put U1 in, um, sorry, let me show you. Put 1 in 1, 2 in 2, 3 in 3, and 4 in 4. So, for brevity's sake, I'm just going to you know, pick one and and do it just to show you how to do this. And the, the thing is, you can put these anywhere. If I wanted to put, I'm going to put user set one in my location four, just to show you that you can do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to take their user set. So I'm going to take one and I hit enter, hit the enter key, and it's saying, where do I want to put it? Do I want to put it in one, two, three, or four? I'm just gonna put it in four, because you can put these anywhere you want. It's your accordion. You get to mix and match however you want. So I'm gonna put it in four. You hit the enter button. It's going to say loading, and it's going to say done. We now have their user set one in our location four. Again, if you would have put it in one, it would have been fine. I'll be back and we'll see how it sounds. I'm now back with, uh, with my roll and I'm just turning it on. And we've got their sound sets in. And uh, so I'm going to go to my user. So you... In my case, I loaded into U4. I'm in U4. Now, they have actually changed that user set, so they're using an Alpine accordion, which sounds very nice, by the way. Um, but when you hit your orchestral, your 1A is now an alto sax. 1B, and you can look at the PDF. Again, I don't have their permission to use the PDF, so you'll have to look at that on your own. Is a tenor sax, and you can go through their different orchestrations. It sounds very nice. One thing I would recommend if you go to actually do the user programs, where you're going to save, you have the eight memory locations, is I would put it in dual mode because listen to the difference with the orchestration, yeah, with the orchestra on that 
alto sax. Now, I don't know if the mic can pick it up because it's going to try to balance everything out. Um, but beautiful sounds. Uh, they did an awesome job on it, so give them a, a thumbs up on their video. Uh, and it, it's just amazing. Um, I will, I do want to point one thing out. Um, they suggest Alpine in memory location two and the orchestral in memory location one. Honestly, the software is smart enough to find what it, they're looking for. So even if you had them reversed and you put those user sets in, it's going to find it. The software, um, and, and if you want to do this, you can actually look at their orchestration files. Um, if you look at them, most of them, you, you can't read anything because you wouldn't understand what's there because it, it's, it's computer language. Um, and they're, they're doing some other things with the database in there. However, you will actually see Alpine is written in the Alpine set. So it's smart enough to find it, whether it's in location one or memory location two. It won't really make a difference. Okay. But that's how you load the uh, Roxy sets in here. And, and again, thumbs up to these guys. Uh, they did a great job. I know how I know how much time it takes to put that stuff together. So, by all means, go out and give them a thumbs up. All right. That being said, if you haven't already done so, please hit the like and subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them.